guys welcome to the review of our Xperia Neo V I tried to get a review of this phone earlier and uh, a lot of technical issues I didn't have my mic working and I was tired too so I couldn't make a good video of it so now I'm back with the phone hopefully this video is gonna help you guys a lot in deciding whether you should buy this phone or not okay we'll just take this review in steps of three Firstly, we'll finish off with the UI and second thing, we'll do a benchmark test and third thing, we'll run some games and check how the phone performs with the HD games. Okay, starting off, okay, there you see a typical Sony Ericsson unlock screen. So you swipe it across to unlock the screen and there you have five home screens in this timescape UI and you get plenty of widgets on this phone okay we'll just set the brightness to max so that uh, you can get a better view of the display Okay, uh, notice is this display, uh, even though we have set it to maximum brightness, it may not be the maximum brightness that it is currently seen because, because of the ambient light sensor. So, the sensor basically measures the ambient light and if it is, if the ambience is too bright, the phone's display is automatically set to bright. And if it is too low, it automatically the display brightness goes low. This makes sense that you need a brighter screen to view in a brighter environment and you need a dimmer screen to view in the dark environment. So I can just demonstrate how this ambient light sensor works. Okay, you see now this it's very bright. I'll just cover up the ambient light sensor with my finger and you can see the screen going dimmer. You can just observe how the display goes brighter just quickly see that and you can see it even more brighter if there's a lot of light in the room so once you've got your phone and if you think the brightness is not going high in the night and you're if you get to be disappointed don't be worried it's just because of the ambient light sensor and the uh, bad thing is that you can't turn it off and it's by default set in the phone Okay, uh, that's about the ambient sensor and uh, and the proximity sensor works like you whenever you attend a call and you take your phone close to your ear, the display goes blank so that uh, the display is switched off so that it saves power while you're talking over the phone when the display is not used. Okay, and uh, we'll just check out what all widgets we get. Okay, if on the main menu you press hold and you get this menu wherein you can add shortcuts, widgets, folders, wallpapers or you can set your themes. Going to widgets, we get quite a lot of widgets by default in the phone out of the box and yeah all all the widgets that you can see now are the ones that come in the, with the phone and this player pro is because I have installed it on my phone so you can see those widgets on them. Rest of them it comes out of the box okay, and we'll just check out the timescape widget which is the highlight of this particular of Sony Ericsson UI okay in timescape you can set your Facebook your Twitter your email accounts your SMS your call logs all of them and you can set the updates to display in this widget of all the events like in a timely fashion so whatever event occurs it gets as a no it's get a notification on your timescape would get you can just scroll through them and just check what each of them are and then in, just click tap tap the update and you can just go and check out what the update was okay that's about the timescape UI and yep going to the themes we have around seven themes which come with the phone 
and uh, I don't think so we have an option to add to this particular list so these are the ones that you can use in your phone this is good considering the touch with UI on the Samsung phones where you don't have themes you can't change other than wallpaper and the widgets you can't change anything else on the phone and uh, other thing is that this change in these themes gets reflected in most of the applications it's like your as the wallpaper changes your app drawer the color change changes according to the uh, wallpaper your messaging app it again it changes and you can you can see the updates you, know, you can see the messages this green colored callouts it changes as per the theme and not just the messaging app the contacts the, the call logs the phone the music player and most of the default app that comes with the phone and you can just add in folders you can create folders you can you can have the shortcuts press and hold a shortcut and try adding another shortcut on it and you get the option to create a folder once you have a folder you can create a folders and add in as many as application shortcuts that you want that's fairly simple and straightforward to use and uh, going to the app drawer there are quite a few applications which come with the phone and uh, most of them half of them useful and half of them not useful based on the preference and bad thing that I found was there is no file browser that comes with the phone you need to install one app on the market I have installed a ES file explorer from the market which is a free app of course and you can change your change the order of the applets that is displayed in the app drawer okay you have option you have you can select your own order you can select alphabetical you can sort them in most user recently installed or whatever order you want if you want to do a custom if you want to change just do minor or major changes you can just click on this icon here and you can see that the application shortcuts they're floating on the drawer just click and hold them and move around the screen and just drop them wherever you want you want them to go so that's how this works and other thing is to uninstall applic the installed application again like clicking on that menu you can see you can see your cross mark on the applications clicking which will take you to uninstallation process and you can uninstall it from here so that's about the UI of this phone nothing much nothing too much indifferent than any other Android phone in the market most of the options still remains the same then if you can just go to settings we'll just see what difference we can see there okay apart from all these options remain same in the phone and you get one the first option is Sony Ericsson which is basically to set connectivity how your phone is, how your phone should behave when it is connected to your PC or desktop or whatever and you have Facebook inside Expedia wherein you do the settings for your um, you connect your integrate your Facebook with your phone and Android OS basically so that you know you can okay this I've not showed you you have an application or you have a message or you have something that you want to share it on your Facebook for example I have this browser icon here it's like consider it to be some other app and I want to share it on my Facebook status it's a drag and press and hold the icon and you can see the dustbin at the bottom and there's a small blue bar at the top that says share so dropping it into this bar will directly post it as a status update on your Facebook so that's about this integration stuff okay apart from that there is nothing really special and uh, you have another thing 
that I noticed okay it's a live wire manager here you can set you have different options which uh, this particular app detects what accessory is connected to your phone and based on what kind of plug is connected what kind of accessory is connected you can launch a particular application like for an example if you connect the headset what is the default application that you want to start running you can just set it here you can just pick whichever application you want it you can just set them so when you connect a headset by default the app starts so you have four different options displayed on the screen so that's about live manager and <clears throat> that's about the review of the UI so it's it's fast it's very zippy there is no lag I've been using this phone for a week now and haven't noticed any lag it's quite fast for the one gigahertz processor that we have on the phone so that's about it thanks guys thanks for watching this review